better than men and they voice the same opinion with me so we were more than ha happy to you know join hands and when I got to hear of the summit I think it's a really wonderful way to encourage women out there to come forward and uh, through our uh, direct selling agent uh, plan uh, via Best Deal TV where we are encouraging women to come forward and you know be, be entrepreneurs from home without actually having to commute or, uh, or you know sell or even fulfill their selling because we do all the back end work. They just have to make sure that they create an awareness and sell a product and then all the rest of the stuff we at Best Deal TV do. So yeah, it's 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 a really interesting initiative from them and I was more than happy to be part of it. What kind of response did you get? Very good response. I think uh, uh, 20-25 uh, ladies have joined us with our plan. Ke or uh, best deal tv ke vaya i think women entrepreneurs ko hum log uh, protsahan de rahe hain aur uh, shiroz ne hum, hum logon ko bahut uh, encourage kiya hai so a big big thank you to them as well there's also been very good news for one of your heroes that is salman khan who's been i know <laughs> i know of all charges his family yes. is very very relieved what would you have to say about it bahut khush hain yes. fans wagera aap kya kahenge shiroz aapko koi alag jawab milne wala nahi hai main bhi bahut khush hu unke liye and uh, yeah, I feel really, really happy for Salman. Okay, okay. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Taking forward, and that's what we're going to use the next half an hour for. Uh, a very, very good evening to all you Shiro's. Uh, this indeed is a wonderful opportunity for me to connect with my species. <laughs> So we kind of understand each other so much better. <laughs> uh, gone are the days where I would encourage the conversation of, oh, we're living in a male-dominated society. It's wonderful to see and come across women who are go-getters, who really want to, you know, fly, who are trying out different things. And uh, I belong to that clan or that set of women. So for me, I've always wanted to be, and as you very rightly said, that came from my upbringing. Those, those thoughts were inculcated by my mother. I come from, uh, uh, I wants to believe I'm Punjabi since I'm married to him, but I told him <laughs> very clearly, born a Shetty will die a Shetty. <laughs> You can't become a shit. You have to be born one. <laughs> but um, yeah, so you know, we parts are a matriarchal society, and for us, it it is you know it it, it is um, more celebratory when a woman is born or when a girl is born into the family. So. You know, girls were actually ostracized if they got married outside the community because they realized that that would be the end of their lineage. So they were not ostracized because <laughs> they, were, uh, they were upset because it's anyway such a small clan, what would happen to this community? Yeah. So we are like the Parsis from the South. <laughs> yeah. You know, <laughs> So we kind of, kind of very, yeah, yeah, exactly. So I mean, coming, coming from that uh, community and that thought process where girls were rejoiced. My, my mom came from a family of uh, two sisters and her. She worked. She was the first bunt woman to start working. Okay, this is way back, uh, forty. Two years ago, 40, 45 years ago, 
and it was a big thing. She was the first one woman to start modeling. Yes, so she she modeled for uh, Colgate and Four Hands, and she still didn't get sued. So, you know, whatever these compound, and at that time there, there wasn't that much paper media and all of that, so it was in the theaters. And she was uh, on the Eve's weekly cover. I still remember. She, I, I've seen those paper cuttings. So she was of the belief that girls cannot be curved. There's nothing different. Uh, that she did if if she I don't think she would do anything different if she had a boy. And I have to give credit even to my father. Coming from uh, the Bunch community, you know, men can be very conservative, but he always encouraged both Shamita and me. He never made us believe that things were not achievable. Yes, only when it came to deadline, the deadlines we became girls. <laughs> but in terms of achievements, I don't think they ever curbed us from doing anything. So there was a time we were in, you know, we were in the midst of doing so many activities. I was doing basketball, volleyball, doing dancing, doing cookery classes, uh, the work. So we'd come home and we'd be dead to the world. And saying that, I want you to know that both my parents were working at the time while we were growing up. They were like cats on a hot tin roof. We only saw them on Saturdays and Sundays. And we've turned out great. So I really believe that when you are working and you're bringing up your children, it's very important to, to make your child understand the value of work, to understand that there is hard work being put in, because then they grow up to value you for what you are doing for them. So I didn't have helicopter parenting. And I think I, I've grown up to be the kind of person I am because my parents let us be, let us grow, let us learn from our mistakes. And I have to credit both my parents for that. So my parents were really forward in the way they thought, what they believed. I was the first bunt girl to join the film industry. So I remember walking into Myanmar, and it was a very big thing. 22 years ago, uh, it was a big thing. So I remember uh, entering this bun wedding where most girls would go to find a husband. <laughs> but I had just started shooting for Bazigar. The film wasn't released. And my parents very proudly walked in with me and there were a lot of whispers that I could, they, that weren't whispers anymore because I could actually hear them. And they were like, oh, she joined the film industry. And, oh, look at this. And, oh, look at that. And how could her parents allow her? whatever. But my parents, you know, were undeterred. And the same Bhatt community, a few years later, felicitated me. <laughs> so, uh, I don't regret any of my decisions, but without the encouragement of my parents, and those values that they, you know, kind of pisoed and put into, <laughs> put, put into our heads, we've kind of grown up to value what we have, what we want to become, and we have work, work ethics. So that, I think I've covered everything. I can leave. <laughs> <laughs> We're just about getting started. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I think what I hear is a lot of traditional hard work. Uh, and uh, yeah, almost be your own boss, I think. Uh, uh, so uh, I have a personal confession to make. I am very ignorant about that. I don't watch movies. I don't have a TV. I don't play. So, so, how, but I. Oh, I'm, so that's an actual bestseller. Yeah. Yeah. I'm very happy. Thank yeah. you. So please buy it. <laughs> so, Book sales are always good. <laughs> yeah. So let me sort of quickly put the three mansions on the on the table. You run a spa, right? Uh, Seventeen. Seventeen of them. Uh, you, uh, my mom calls me uh, now every morning since she's learned about this thing that, hey, please watch Tata Sky at 7.30, Shilpa Shetty is teaching yoga. Right? <laughs> <laughs> right? So that, uh, you've got a book, and uh, of course you've got a whole family to take care of, and then that, that goes in your Twitter bio, I noticed. Uh, and there's a whole body book which is going to mob you wherever you go. And now there is this whole, uh, forefront 
TV commerce story.